All right, we got some Rocket League. Wartburg versus BVU kicking off here. Getting started right away. Sky's up, not going to make contact with that ball. Oh, Drop dash is going to be there to clear that away. Puts it to the corner. Had an open net, but couldn't quite get the angle on it. And that demo might clear up some space, but... G-Man going to be there to hit that ball off the backboard. Now, Crop Duster picking this one up. Tries to center it. Takes a big 50. That's going to pop dangerously high, but nobody there from the side Warburg to clean up. That ball gets cleared away. Crop Duster going to be there to collect it, but gets a little bit of awkward landing on the wall. And that's going to sneak right past the defense, just up and under the crossbar. That's going to be the first goal of the series going towards BVU. With some sound problems, it seems like. Only getting some audio probably from me. You're probably not hearing that game audio, so we'll try to get that figured out. As we get this game on after that first goal, still four minutes left to go. The demo on the backboard, but the clear came out first. Might have been kind of a back pass from the teammate. Lecture step, going to collect that. Make it awkward for that touch from the side of BVU. We're going to hit that to the side a little bit. Electric step flying past that one as he can't quite get the distance separated from the wall. Big 50 in the last man. We'll see. Oh, it looked like BVU was going to have an opening, but that gets cleared away. Jimmy and Little trying to take a big 50, leaving it for electric step. Electric step pops it up, takes a controlling touch, and that's going to get 50 in and out. This game still 1-1 with two and a half minutes left to go. Halfway done. Or 1-0, excuse me. Wartburg down. Still game one. BVU gets it centered. But nobody's going to be there to clean it up as G-Man Little heads down the other way. Going to 50 high off the corner. Crop Duster was up but gets beat to the ball by Sky. Wartburg running a little bit low on boost. This is a dangerous ball for them. But that shot... Going to be a little too slow to get by any Warburg's defenders. Lecture step gets bumped off that ball. This is dangerous. Crop Duster with a huge block there. He actually is able to maintain possession. Doesn't quite go for the ball. He's trying to take a good angle on it. That shot's going to get denied. BVU centers that ball. That's going to be a good shot, but gets blocked by the crop duster. Sky trying to pa pass it up the wall to himself. That goes off the post. That could have been an, a huge 2-0 lead. Always feels a lot better than a 1-0 lead for the side of BVU. Counterattack is on the way. G-Man Little takes a shot. That's going to get denied by Sky. Crop duster is going to be there to clean it up. Gets a few touches off the backboard, but it goes a little bit too far for anybody to be there for... Shot on net. Human Little pops it up and off the ceiling, not able to follow it. And for anybody who was watching Worlds this past weekend, that's something you saw them do a lot. A lot of off the ceiling plays, whether that's them jumping off the ceiling or really what it was is they would hit it up off the ceiling and get the flip reset while the ball's on its way down. Very, very difficult mechanic, but they make it look easy because that's why they're world champions. 
Crop Duster going to take that 50 high off the backboard. G-Man Little has a chance to score. It's going to hit the crossbar and go down if that bounces any other way. Oh, but Electric Step is there to clean it up. That's going to type the game 1-1 with just 24 seconds left. Winning the first game in a best of seven series is huge as it gets that momentum going. And that shot going to go off the backboard. Cleared away as Crop Duster tries to center it back up. Electric Step was there but not able to get the slight touch to send it to the side. And another shot on net. Nine seconds left. And G-Man Little takes that game. Or takes the goal. Probably secures the game. But there is nine seconds left. Now, BBU going to have to try to keep this up. They want a chance, and that's going to be Warburg taking the first game. See the stat line there. Pretty standard stuff, nothing too crazy. Pretty similar stats from both teams. You ran little with the four shots, though. That's three demos, the hat trick of demos. Trying to get the audio fixed here, but not sure what's causing this audio issue. I guess you're left with my voice for tonight. You get going into game two here. 30 seconds in, no goals yet. That ball gets popped high. It's going to be a race towards mid. BBU ends up winning that 50. It's going to take an awkward bounce off the corner. High, popping up to Sky. Not able to get the controlling touch that they were probably hoping for. And that touch is going to be on target, but Jimin Little ready for it. And that's a passing play downfield. Crop Duster puts that just left of the goal. Both teams just trying to get a really good possession. That passing play from Wartburg was the first time so far this game we've really seen anybody seem to have too many uh, or have any dangerous threat on net at all. And there's another one, and that's going to hit the crossbar and go in. Great shot from Ryan. Off the bump. G-Man Little was probably hoping to hit that off the sidewall and back to himself, but gets bumped in the process, and that results in, in a pass made for BBU. Sky gets a free ball off that kickoff. Going to take it to the backboard, and a huge clear from Electric Staff. The counterattack is there. The Crop Duster is there to pick it up and kind of just takes a shot on Nat, a little bit of a low shot that not usually going to go in. The defender was there to clean it up. And now it's the crop duster taking it high. It gets demoed in the process, but now this is an awkward ball for BBU to try to deal with. And G-Man Little backflips. Probably wouldn't have had an angle to put that on net, but unable to get to the ball because of that. Oh, and almost a redirect there. Almost going to fake G-Man out. And Wartburg lacking on boost right now. Able to get a full boost right there for electric step and turn into that play. If the min boost wasn't there, 
Probably would have had to retreat, give up possession. Another thing that can separate different tiers of players is how well they can play on low boost. That is something to pay attention to. Uh, ever since that update that they added a, a few months ago where you can see your teammate's boost amount, you can see by people's names above their car, that little circle that indicates how much boost they currently have. Uh, pretty helpful. Pretty helpful thing that they added. You usually don't change gameplay too much in Rocket League throughout the years since 2015 since it came out, but that is one thing they have changed. And that's a dangerous pass across middle. Sky going to take the shot off the rebound, but not enough boost to get enough power behind that to get it past the defense. And that ball just sneaks right past the defense. Balk going to be there to take that from coast to coast. As G-Man thinks that that ball is going to get popped up, and it does not, which kind of fakes the crop duster out. Two minutes left in this game. It is 2-0. Electric step. Going to stop that ball at midfield, which ideally you don't want to stop that ball when you are the one retreating and the opponents are the ones advancing. Almost ends up being a pass to them. But didn't result in a goal. Able to reset. That shot's going to go a little bit high and saved anyway by Sky. Electric step, looking to continue that pressure. Puts a shot on net. Had a teammate middle, but tries to snipe the top corner. This ball, looking like bulk almost has a shot. Crop Duster going to jump off that backboard to save it. Electric step, going to gather this ball, but lose control of it. Another shot going off the post. Bulk is going to be there one more time to pop it up. Runs out of boost, takes that 50 G-Man Little should have a free ball with full boost, but slows down. Takes 500 years to get going with that solo play. Gets bumped from behind with zero, from an opponent with zero boost. And that shot's going to go off the post. Wartburg with a clear now. But the pressure continues to stay on. G-Man Little stays calm and collected on the goal line there. And a save off the post. That's going to get centered up again. Another shot coming in. Electric step with another save. And that ball gets cleared out. Dangerous clear. Sometimes you can get counterattacked like that on those big clears. But Warburg manages to hold on. But only 21 seconds left in this game with two goals left. Two goal differential. Another shot going to be put on net. And Warburg just unable to really get too many attacks going in this last minute of this game. It has been all offense and all pressure from BVU. And as that clock hits zero, that will guarantee that it is game now, waiting for the ball to hit the ground or hit the back of the net. That'll work too. Kind of just a, a goal for the troubles there. As this series gets tied one-to-one. -one. The game's reset there. Get that corrected. Warburg has an attacking opportunity here. That shot gets 50. Slow down bulk. Going to see what he can do. Taking it across. Nobody able to make score that rebound shot. This shot's going to go off the post. Wartburg struggling there. 
as VVU takes the first goal just 29 seconds into the game. And that's going to be another goal for Buena Vista. As Warburg seems to be having some trouble getting this ball out of their half. Electric Step tries to do what he can. But Ryan will be there on the cleanup. That's two quick goals here to start this game off. If you're Buena Vista, that's exactly what you want to see. Another shot on that right after kickoff. And that's going to find its way in. Three goals in just 45 seconds. G-Man Little had it covered, but tries to swing around back post when there's a shot coming in, probably on card cam. Doesn't even see the ball coming. As Warper is able to get the first opening possession after that kickoff, but gets denied quickly. And once again, Warper just having trouble finding these big clears and just f accidentally passing it on these clears. As there's another goal opportunity for Buena Vista right there. Electric Sub misses that tough read, but luckily Crop Duster was there. Clean it up and doesn't get that one. Warper seems to be falling apart at the seams right here. And there was a bump play. Sky with the bump. Able to clear that last defender out of the way. Now this will be a, a tough one for Warburg to try to bring back. Now, luckily, there is a lot of time left in this game. Lots and lots of time. But Warburg with zero goals last game. They're going to need to get something going soon if they really want to change the way that this game goes. Electric Step not going to quite get the touch that... He wanted off the wall there. Now we see Warburg for the first time getting it onto Buena Vista's half this game. But most of their pressure is resulting just from kind of rolling the ball along this side wall. They're going to need to do more than that if they want to find a goal. And now we see the crop duster with a huge opening possession. Just tries to boom it to the backboard, but it's not going to be a hard enough hit to get past the defense. Warburg is at least able to maintain this pressure. Game about halfway done now. Still 4-0. to zero. Jimin Little almost was able to break out of there. And that's a shot going to go off the post. Ryan going to try to put it in, but that's too tight of an angle. The defense has time to get back and cover that. Jimin Little missing the air roll there. And... Uh, that whiff will result in a goal, a fifth goal from the side of Buena Vista. Just less than two minutes left now. Is Warburg almost able to find that first goal? Chiban Little passes it middle. Doesn't connect. And now Buena Vista on the counterattack. He gets a pass middle, but that's going to get dunked by Electric Step into the corner. A shot put on net, and it's going to find the back of it. A huge momentum boost, even if Warburg doesn't win this game. They know that Buena Vista bleeds. They know that that net is able to be hit. Huge for the morale, huge for the mental right there. And hopefully they can find some more. I mean, the game's not over. Still possible for Warburg to bring it back. 
especially since kickoff goals are so possible in the game of Rocket League. Sky collects that, takes it off the wall and up. Electrocept going to be there to clear it to the side, but not quite able to possess off of that. Gets the boost stolen by Ryan. And that ball is trickling towards the net. G-Man Little should be able to get there, and he does. The crop duster trying to pre-jump that ball, and Sky scores! I believe he jumped off the backboard and redirected that down. Let's take another look at this. He does. That is an incredible goal from Sky. Making this lead 6-1, and now in danger of Brazil territory. And Sky with another one. There's, the, there's that Brazil skyline. We talked about kickoff goals being possible, and it looks like all these kickoff goals are going in favor of Buena Vista. Another goal, finding his way into the back of the net, 8-1. Warburg just trying to make it to the end of this game, starting fresh with a 0-0 scoreline. They know they can do it. They took game one, and now there's another goal going back the other way. So many kickoff goals in this game, a 10-goal game. That is quite rare for the game of Rocket League. This last minute has felt to be uh, lasting for ages here. Oh, 40 seconds left. Sky is going to take that up off the corner into the air. G-Man Little going to be there to pick it up, put it off the backboard, but it's going to get cleared away. Tries to pass it to the sidewall. G-Man Little could have turned around after grabbing that full boost, but gets back, allows Electric Step to go in there. Not the not the play you're looking for when you're trying to get back on offense. Now Crop Duster dishes it out middle. Double commit from the side of Warburg. 10 seconds left. Yeah, this game is not quite winnable anymore. <laughs> Almost another one. Buena Vista trying to show them who's boss here. By getting another one for the road, but they're just going to throw that ball down. Go to the next one. 2-1 lead now overall. The game count for Buena Vista in the lead. Taking a pretty dominant win there. Sky with 822 points. So many total ball touches from the side of Buena Vista. I mean, honestly, Warburg as well. But two players with over 50 touches. That is pretty significant. Get going here in game number four. No kickoff goal on that one. But BBU with the incredible pressure. That's going to go off the crossbar, off the post, and out. And now the counterattack. Crop dust. You're not able to get quite enough power. Runs out of boost. And that gets saved up and off the backboard. Almost the first goal there for Warburg. And almost the first goal for BVU. But almost is not going to do it in the game of Rocket League. All that matters is whether that goal was scored. Sometimes you can have some pressure to wear your opponents down, get them awkward, get them out of position, run out of their boost. But 
one big clear and you can really have a chance to reset as a defense. And all that pressure is undone. Electric Step collects that full boost, takes it up out of the corner, beats one, goes up, beats another. Going to lose possession for it, though. Crop Duster up, hitting it off the backboard, and that's going to get cleared away before G-Man Little even has a chance to think about going for it. A little double commit there from the side of Wartburg, probably for the better. Might have faked out the defense for a little bit there. As a demo and a dunk, going to start some BVU pressure. Last man back for G-Man Little, able to clear it there. A demo coming out on the side of Ortberg, and now a demo right back for BBU. Ryan pops that up, gets a great first touch, gets the flip reset, pops it off the backboard. The shot's there, and it's going to find the back of the net after a huge opening. Buena Vista. Ryan with an incredible play there. Somebody from Ortberg's got to do something. You see two people just covering net for their dear lives. Nobody going to challenge. And it's 1 0 now. First game, first goal of this game with three minutes left. And after kickoff, lots of opening pressure from BVU. That's going to go high off the backboard. No goal going to come of it yet, though. Passes middle. Is anybody there? No, nobody is there. G Man Little going to be there to collect that. Gets a soft touch over two, but the last person back, Matthew Mills, going to clear that out. That ball's going to go high to the backboard. Crop Duster going to just clear it away. But Wartburg needs to not just clear it away, especially when Buena Vista is waiting to receive that ball. They have to possess this out of defense if they want any chance to win some of these games. And now finally an opening for Wartburg. G-Man Little, full boost off the wall. Let's see what he can do. Gets a little bit of a tough first touch, but gets a second touch on net. It's going to get saved after a double commit. That's huge pressure past middle. Not going to be able to shoot from the side of Electric Step. And now all this pressure is gone. Warburg trying to hang on, though. As the Crop Duster takes a hard shot off the sidewall. That's going to go off the backboard. The goal was open. That could have been a goal there. But the shot goes high. And Electric Step dishes it back to G-Man Little. That shot going to get blocked to go off the backboard. G-Man Little now passing it back to the Crop Duster. That's going to go back to the corner. These passes are almost connecting. Warburg looking like they're starting to come alive now with this pressure. These passing plays finally starting to seem like they're in rhythm. Ryan is going to send that towards the net. Crop Duster with an easy clear to the side. And that's a whiff from Sky. Leaves it for his teammate behind, but gets dunked. The Crop Duster are going to be able to take a shot that might be off the post and it misses. Almost an own goal there. Oh, but Buena Vista able to clear it. Warburg just not able to find the net, although they are finally looking like they have some offense under their belt. The goal's just not there yet. And like I said earlier, all that matters is the goals as BVU is able to find another one. All that pressure for Warburg and nothing to show for it. That's a tough feeling as a team when you know you've been on offense for so long and just can't find those goals. And they're an opening created back post off of the backboard pass. Nobody covering that from Warburg. In that top corner is open. As Buena Vista gets the opening pressure now off of this kickoff. Give in little, going to be there to receive that ball. Plenty of boost, pops it up to himself. Gets the dunk on the first challenger. Going to leave that ball for Matthew Mills as he touches it off the sidewall and back to himself. Tries to get the doink, isn't able to get it. As Lecture Step heads back the other way. Only nine boost, gets past one. 50 off the sidewall. G-Man Little a little slow to get to that one. Going to get beat by Ryan. Ryan coming around, going to pass that off the backboard. Nobody's home. Electric step off the sidewall. Doesn't get the dunk as they were hoping so. And Wartburg, how are they going to break out of this pressure? Nobody's going. That barely gets saved. Electric step puts it to the side. Another save from the crop duster. Gets the full boost. Is able to get some pressure going off the sidewall. Sky is going to be able to slow that down and say, give me one second. And five seconds left as Wartburg needs two goals, and that's going to be it. That's going to be game three for BVU. This is a best of seven, though. The Midwest Valley Esports Conference has changed their rules heading into this season for the better, in my opinion. Playing all best of sevens now instead of best of fives. 
If it was best of five, this would be over already. BVU with three game wins, but anything is possible. This is why it is a best of seven. Warper took game one. BVU answered with three straight. But Warper looked much better that game, much better. It was 8-2 the game before. Only two goals scored that game. But Warburg, yeah, had plenty of shots. You can see that shot count. Five total shots. It's way better than before. Four demos total. Now as we head into game five, match point for BVU. You see these kickoffs, I think a big reason why. Oh, BVU scores! As a mid-sentence talking about BVU's pressure. They're able to find that goal there. G-Man Little just looking awkward on the backboard. Not sure whether to go forward or backward. And that ball finds the backboard behind him. But now these kickoffs, BVU's able to get such good pressure from their speed flips on these kickoffs. Is not everybody on Warburg feels comfortable doing their speed flips on kickoffs yet. But Warburg does manage to get the pressure on that one, and the Groptos is going to be there to clean it up. Ties it up 1-1, one, one, two goals within just 14 seconds of game time. So Crop Duster has an excellently placed shot to the edge of that goal. Forces that defender to stretch as wide as they can and not wide enough. And once again, a huge opportunity off the kickoff. Electric Step nails it. And that's going to be a lead for Warburg. Huge for the momentum. Three kickoff goals in a row. 19 seconds of gameplay and three goals scored. This is already more goals than were scored all of last game. There's something about kickoffs in Rocket League that are just so volatile. And again, another <laughs> shot going to go off the crossbar, down and out. Could have been a fourth kickoff goal there. The pressure maintains, and that's going to be an unfortunate own goal from Electric Step. Four goals now in less than 30 seconds. That bounces awkwardly off the post, off the hood of Electric Step's car and into the net. Nothing that he could have done about that one. Just wrong spot at the wrong time. As BVU gets possession off of this kickoff. See what G-Man Little can do. Gets stuffed on the clear and gets another dunk. Sky putting in some work out there as a crop duster is manages to take a 50 to get out of defense. That's another thing. If you're not going to be able to get these possessing touches or some passes out of defense, you got to at least take a 50. You cannot afford to just hit the ball as hard as you can and pass it to the opponents. An electric step not able to make contact with that ball and ended up leaving it for crop duster behind him and almost resulted in a goal as that ball gets past middle g-man little's gonna go for it that ball gets 50 up high crop dusters up but not able to get the touch towards net does get the first touch on the ball but hits it to the side this guy's gonna be there to clean it up on a potential passing play he finds g-man little on the sideline but doesn't quite get the collection that he was hoping for ends up rolling away to ryan as ryan pops it up does some air dribbling, and that is an open net possibility. It's going to go wide. Crop Duster, there to clean it up. Looking for a counterattack now. Gets the 100 boost on the side. Unable to get that ball on top of his car, as he might have hoped. Find a flick or something. And Sky's going to be there to redirect, get it past one defender. Electric Step going to catch that shot, put it to the side, take it up the wall. Goes airborne gets the flip reset pops it over one off the backboard and that's not going to go in great flip reset attempt from electric step there just goes a little bit high another thing uh that bvu seems to be doing a lot better than warburg is once warburg has to make a save that's uncomfortable they seem to kind of collapse in upon themselves unable to find their rhythm again where bvu is able to maintain pressure there and it finds a goal in return sky taking the lead off the crossbar and in with Ryan swinging through, looking for these demos, that creates so much pressure. Even though Ryan did not make contact with any of those defenders, just having an extra thing for the defense to think about can sometimes slow them down just a fraction of a second. And Rocket League is a game that is won and lost on fractions of a second. 
And now that bump does come through. That's going to leave a wide open net, but nobody from the side of BVU able to take a shot. Usher Step finds a bump, opening some space for G-Man Little, who isn't quite able to maintain possession. Sky Ryan now on the counterattack. Sky takes a shot, and there's another bump on the goal line. We've seen so many, it's, <laughs> two bumps on the goal line there since the last goal. Something that BVU also seems to be doing a little bit better than Warburg. Granted, BVU has been on offense a little bit more this game. That is another thing that can separate uh, good players from great players is what they do off the ball. Do they swing through? Do they get these bumps? Do they get these demos? Do they steal some boost? How are they positioning? Uh, we can get so obsessed sometimes with these flashy mechanics and the flip resets and the double touches, but what are you doing when you are not the one hitting the ball? Equally as important as BVU finds another goal. Incredibly high scoring series. If you like offense when you're watching Rocket League, this is the series to watch. As Warbreak seems to be struggling defending their backboard. Lots of these goals have come off of backboard passes. Oh, as another ball floats over the net, but going to get denied. An electric step now. Takes it to the corner, gets that full boost, passes it off the backboard. Sky's going to be there to clear it up in a way. Ryan leaves that ball mid for Sky. Shot going to get blocked, but it was a nice quick little one-two. Surprised it did. Electric Chef takes a shot, an awkward flip off that end, and Crop Duster's there to dunk it off the blocked shot and right into the back of the net. It's a two-goal game. Two goals in a little over a minute is very, very doable. All you need is one, and then as long as the ball does not touch the ground and the clock is at zero, it is always possible to get one more. So Warburg really just looking to score at least one goal in regular time here, in regulation. That is what's going to boost the mental so much. As that ball pounces off the corner, and nobody from the side of Warburg going on that. That could have been a, a goal there if Sky was able to... Get a touch for that redirect. Sky takes that for Matthew Mills. Matthew Mills is awkward going backwards. Ryan pops that high for teammates behind him. Matthew Mills is up. That ball's going to be going towards the backboard. Ryan trying to get this read. Warburg blocks it, and that's going to be an open net now, but a double commit from Warburg. If they didn't double commit, there could have been a goal. Crop Duster takes a 50 on the sideline. A great adjustment to what I believe their problems were in the first few games. And Warburg just running low on boost there as that goal almost finds the back of the net, but the rebound will. Six to three. And that's going to be a three goal game, 17 seconds left. Going to be need a miracle for Warburg to hang on in this one. And this is game point. BBU just needs uh, to hold on, not give up three goals in 17 seconds, and they will be the match winners for week two of Midwest Valley Esports Conference. And another one for their troubles, that will be seven goals for <laughs> Buena Vista. As Warburg just having to be full offense here. They have no no time to worry about defense. They have to be full offense. They want any chance. Oh, and a chance for a kickoff goal there if Electric Step was able to make contact on that shot. As that ball hits zero, that is going to be it as we see these final scores come up. Seven hundred and sixty three points from Sky. Definitely the player of that last game and probably the player of the series. Ryan has some great great plays in there as well. Uh though that duo pretty devastating. Wartburg seemed to be a little lost by the speed of that play. They weren't quite used to it. Wartburg did have a little bit more touches on average this game, which usually you don't see from the losing team. Interesting stats there. But the big the shot differential is what's huge. Five shots compared to thirteen shots. That'll that'll do it for sure. Bumps pretty similar actually. Um 
and demos as well, but the bumps are very impactful from the side of BB use and carrying multiple goals off those bumps. But that's going to be it. A quick 4-1. to one. Congrats to Buena Vista University on the dub tonight. We will see you guys in playoffs, hopefully. Uh, I come this postseason, and we will have our revenge. We will. So you stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. To anybody who tuned in, apologize for the audio bugs that were going on. Uh, hopefully we have those fixed for Thursday's game for the NECC. Uh, we will have our schedule out soon. We will have a tournament for our placements on Thursday, so probably starting around 7 o'clock, but stay tuned.